Boys and girls, good morning. Well, now that we have he, we have gone over our circle time and we know that it's Thursday, the 9th of July of the year 2020, that it's cold outside, it's winter time. I want to talk to you about what is the topic of this week. Remember, we have talked all the week long about some lovely planets of the solar system. Yeah. And now I want to read you a story about a boy called Hell that gets to go on a very nice adventure. He gets to go outside of the Earth's atmosphere into the universe and he's on a mission to try and find the sun, right? So let's see what Hell gets into in his quest to find sun. There's some lovely adventure he gets, uh, he gets himself into. So... This is the story. Back to Earth with a bump. All right. The lovely planets. Back to Earth with a bump. This is, it's evening and Hal needs to brush his teeth and go up to bed. He brushes his teeth and brushes his head. His big hand, the big hands on 12 and the small hands on 8. Quick, into your bedroom. It's really quite late. He Hal closes his curtains and turns out the light, curls under his blanket and snuggles up tight. But just when he's starting to snuffle and snore, his small bat takes off from the ground with a roar. A whoosh! And it's out of the window they go. His house soon becomes just a dot down below. He soars through the clouds in the dark moonlit sky and straight into space in the blink of an eye. Look at that. Let's see what happens. It's Earth calling hell. Can you hear me? Come in. We have a mission for you. When can you begin? You're loud and you're clear. Now just tell me the plan. Please give me my mission. I'll do what I can. Look, Hal's bed starts, starts talking to him. It says... Please find us the sun. It has gone from the sky. It's vanished completely. We just don't know why. Okay, agrees Hal with a nod of his head. I'll track down the sun in my space traveling bed. Let's see what's next. What's that up ahead? Hal squints as he sees. A shape that is pale and all around like cheese. Is that maybe the sun? What do you think? I don't think either. There are craters and mountains and dust that is gray. Could this be the sun and that we see in the day? No way, chuckles Hal with a shake of his head. I know what it is. And he stands on his bed. There's just no mistaking. That shape is the moon. I see it each night from my bed in my room. We must find the sun, Hal commands with a jump, before we go straight back to Earth with a bump. I must not give up. It's important to try. I'll keep up my quest for the sun in the sky. Do you think Hal will find the sun? Well, let's see. That up ahead jumps Hal in his as he spies some bright twinkling shapes far ahead in the sky. They sparkle and dazzle. They glow with light with white light. Could this be the sun that we have lost in the night? Could this be the sun? What do you think? I don't think either. <gasps> oh no! Giggles Hal with a wink of his eye. I know these small diamonds high up in the sky. These beautiful twinkling space dots are stars. I'm perfectly certain that that's what they are. We must find the sun, Hal commands with a, with a jump, before we go straight back to Earth with a bump. I must keep on trying, although it is hard. I've done well already to find all these stars. He has done very well to find all these stars. Now let's see. What's that up ahead? Hal stands up on tiptoes to see a vast shape that is bright red and glows. What do you think this one is? There are mountains and valleys and deserts so dry. Could this be the sun that has gone from the sky? 
I don't think either. It can't be, says Hal, as he scatters his head. I know what that is. It's so round and so red. It's perfectly clear that this planet is Mars. I've heard it's the planet that's found next to ours. We must find the sun, Hal commands with a jump, before we go straight back to Earth with a bump. This mission is hard. It's a difficult task. But if I have tried, then I've given my best. Let's see if he's going to find the sun. <gasps> he looks back at Earth and then what does he see? Let's see. What does he see? The planet is moving. It's turning around. It must be rotating without any sound. Hal zooms round to find where his bedroom has gone. And what does he find? He discovers the sun. Everybody, the sun doesn't budge, but the earth moves instead. Hal works it all out as he clings to his bed. When night comes, we see the bright moon in the sky, but in the daytime, the sun is the thing that we spy. So in the daytime, we see sun, and at nighttime, we see moon. Hal has found the sun. So let's see. What other adventures Hal will get himself into later. See you in the next video. Bye!